That's right. Well, just a devastating sight out here in several parts of Grizzly Flats. Now we can see just right next to me this down power line, and this is what we are seeing throughout several neighborhoods here in Grizzly Flats. Now, just right behind me, we can also see these um, charred vehicles, what looks like it was a garage at one point, you know, and uh, what seems to have been a home just completely reduced to ashes. And while dozens of houses in other neighborhoods have been spared from Caldwell fires intensity, other neighborhoods are just entirely wiped out. Keldor fire tearing through entire neighborhoods and leaving only debris where homes once stood. The fire hit Grizzly Flats this Tuesday, and though not every home was destroyed, it took a toll in the entire community. I, and I don't know when it'll be open. At another evacuation site. It's the first time in 27 years we had to leave our home. It wasn't an easy thing, and we get emotional, but our home is still there, thank God and keep praying that this goes soon. Residents evacuated for the first time in decades. It's all in God's hands. We don't, we can't do anything about it. So we just, you know, I'm more worried about vandals. Dave and Lena tried to drive back into their homes, but the road is blocked to residents and traffic. We just uh, wanted to check on our pets that are outside pets. They, we couldn't, <laughs> but they're okay. These closures are happening because as Caldor grows, crews need roads and space cleared out to move and carry heavy firefighting equipment. Now, just a couple of moments ago, we were still able to hear some um, air activity and also this whole area, Grizzly Flats, remains closed um, to residents and to traffic. Um, live in Grizzly Flats, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.